Hi everybody, and Vincent here. Today I wanted to talk to you all about no autofocus, no problem. The title of the video, I'm assuming if you clicked on the title of the video, I'm assuming the players got the title below. Autofocus, I will admit, I have it on my Canon M50 Mark II and it's pretty decent good autofocus as far as that goes. It's Canon's dual pixel autofocus technology and it works decent. But you know what? This shot you're looking at right now is captured in my Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro. And I've been using this camera for about a year now. And I can tell you right now that the image out of this camera is so good. But the autofocus, I mean, it only has one touch autofocus that it can be, be controlled via my audio, my, uh, not my audio switcher, my video switcher, excuse me, or um, by manually, you know, doing the, the focus uh, by pressing a button on the screen that will pull focus to, I believe it's the center of the, the frame. So, realistically, this camera doesn't really have, I would argue, autofocus at all, really. I mean, I guess technically speaking, yes, it's got one touch autofocus. But to me, when I think autofocus, I think of continuous autofocus. But some might disagree with me on that one. So then how is it with shallow depth of field? You know, this is a pretty shallow depth of field. This is an F4 on a 50 mil lens. How is it that I'm in focus right now? Well because I have a technique. That's right, no camera operator to help me. This stand, this is a cheap Amazon Basics, not a sponsor, uh, tripod. And it's not really a video tripod, it doesn't have a fluid head, but I, I got two of these years ago. They work, I mean, they have issues. This isn't a review of the tripods, but. They're really more photography oriented. But anyway, my point of the matter is, is that I use the second one often to put in the frame. And what I'll do is I'll go back to the camera and I'll pull manual focus to this and then I'll move it out of the frame and stand in the same spot. Now I just moved trying to put it out of the frame and it's possible that I, when I moved back, I didn't get it per focus. Sometimes it does happen. But to get the image quality that you're getting out of this camera, that's a beautiful bird up there. I'm sorry, ADHD brain Vincent here. But look folks, to get the image out of it, I'm willing to sacrifice the ability to uh, have autofocus uh, to get the better image. And realistically, you know, major motion picture films like that are shot on things like Arri Alexas, they don't use autofocus for those. Okay, cinema lenses that are used to shoot movies are manual focus only. So you have to shoot those realistically without autofocus. The real exception is like the DJI LiDAR system that can manually rack focus the lens by turning the gears on it based on its sensor data, which is pretty cool, but I don't know if I'd really call that complete true autofocus either. Uh, I would really call that more as, as Josh Yo. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing your name right. Sorry if I ain't a big fan, but I believe you know, that he's got the right idea, which is he says it's really more of like a specialty focusing device, basically. I believe that's exactly what he said. Uh, anyway, something to that nature of it. And I think that makes a lot more sense because it's really a specialized device. It doesn't work in all situations. It's not like the autofocus systems that you would have from something like Canon that for the most part, or Sony, they just work, okay? Canon and Sony's autofocus for the most part just seems to work. The new Panasonic autofocus that's uh, on their newest, what is it, the S something, I forget what it was, but um, stuff like that with the, the either the phase detect, autofocus, et cetera, uh, dual pixel, stuff like that, that's pretty reliable. And so, for example, my Canon 50, I would know right now, confidently, it's really almost never failed me ever. It has a few times, but almost never. And uh, that if, if I'm putting the camera right here on the tripod and I'm standing out here, my face is going to be in focus right now. And if I was to start moving, it would stay in focus and follow me. Um, but realistically, you don't really need autofocus in every situation. I'm not saying it isn't nice to have, and I will admit I miss it sometimes, but you know what? Depending on what you're doing, you may be willing to tolerate not having autofocus. I'm willing to tolerate it. Let me know in the comments if you all want to use autofocus or not. <laughs> Another question, would you use autofocus on a feature film? There is lenses out here these days that you can get and put like on the high-end, say, uh, cinema cameras from uh, Canon and uh, Sony that looks pretty good to my eyes, even though they're not really true cinema lenses, and they've got autofocus functionality that where they can be remotely focused with the camera. So anyway, just let me know what y'all think about this in the comments if you want. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you all again very soon. Well, maybe not very soon, but at least sometime soon. Maybe. Bye. And action. No wires live. 
No problem. Oh wait, no, that's not the line. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Hi everybody, Vincent here, and today I wanted to talk to you all about no. The... <laughs> oh man. But to get the image quality that you're getting out of this camera, <laughs> and I just knocked my lav mic, didn't I? <laughs> 